Weekends over, it better be fireworks. You understand me? No detail to me. You like it? It's playing backwards. I'll meet you. Fuck, are you talking about? I'll meet you. There you go. That was the trailer for Fear arriving at theaters on January 27th. It's your boy, Kuya P, Nerds Rule the World. And as you see on the screen, I have special guests, the stars. I got Annie Alonza. I hope I didn't brutalize your last name. You and did. Joseph Sikora. Thank you both for your time today. So Thank cool. you. Thank Appreciate it. So when Dion Taylor, my man Dion, reached out to y'all and said, I got this project called Fear. Uh, what was the first thing that ran through your head, uh, Joe? Uh, when Dion's like, yo, I got fear. What do you think? You want to get down? I was standing about 10 feet away looking uh, from my beautiful balcony into Manhattan. And we were in the middle of a lockdown and thinking, what the hell is going to going on? And he says, Big J, I got an idea. You want to do film? And I said, yeah, Dion, what are you thinking? He's like, I got a place. It's going to be contained. You know, you got to leave in five days, jump in a car because it's going to take me eight days to drive there because I'm not going to fly. Um, and, uh, I said, yes. And so, because Dion Taylor is a brilliant filmmaker, a great friend and an even better human being, I thought, what else could I do? So I packed up my wife and my little COVID kitten and, uh, headed to Sacramento. I love it. All right, Annie, same thing for you. Dion, the man reached out. What did you, what did you say? Yeah. I happened to be on vacation in Tahoe where they said we were going to film and this, uh, insular, uh, contained, Lodge and it was Dion. It was uh, a horror film. I always wanted to do both or work with Dion, do a film like this. Um, her Joseph was attached. The answer was yes, immediately. Uh, didn't even have a script yet. I was totally okay with that. And again, what, what Joe said too of we're in the middle of a pandemic. What, what am I about to do? Like I'm going stir crazy. I can only get on that kayak and get on that lake so many times. I need to get back and, and, and be on set and, and play and be with the arts. And so to be with these great creatives, it was a no brainer for sure. I feel that. And I love that. All right. So Joe, back to you, Rom, you get this character, you, you finally get a script, maybe. Um, what did you want to bring to the character of Rom and what can fans expect of you different than some of the other characters you portrayed? Well, it's interesting. The character evolved over when Dion and I were initially having this conversation over the time from the road trip, over the time to when I went to Sacramento and read what they had, kind of went through the script, had some ideas. And we really added a little bit more of me to the character that people wouldn't necessarily know about. I love history. So Ram is a freshman novelist of historical fiction, which leads him into one of his big fears. How am I going to do the next big hit that's on number one on the New York Times bestseller list? Well, he tries to do what a lot of us do, and he tried to do a little two for one, gets his beautiful girlfriend, heads up to Lake Tahoe to a really creepy lodge where he's about to get some uh, knowledge for his next for his next book, a lot of information, um, firsthand information. So uh, his next big fear will manifest itself very early on in the film and again has to deal with the love of his life, Bianca, played by the great and gorgeous Annie Alonso. Mm -hmm. um, and so we really put together this incredible uh, cast uh, from Ido Goldberg to T.I. 
Andrew Batchelor, Ruby Modine. Um, we just have a real wonderful gumbo that hit all of the marks. So Deion Taylor, obviously, you know, like he's the man. He's a brilliant director with a vision. So just be, because we didn't have a, a, a finished script, I knew Dion already had that film in his head. So we went there, 16, 17 days shoot, whatever it was. We hit the ground running. It was long, wonderful days. And to steal from Annie, we became a family and really trusted each other uh, in terms of the cast. So we just kind of had a blast doing this film. And then, as you can see in the trailer, the post, they had second to none with what they put together for that post. It's scary. It's a horror film. It's a thriller film. It's a love story. So you got all these wonderful elements that people will be able to be able to say, that's me, that's you, that's Ma, that's uh, my cousin Jimmy. You know what I mean? So everybody's in this film. Let's go. Let's close it out, Annie. So what can fans expect from you uh, as Bianca and why people should check out Fear? She's relatable. I mean, everybody at some point during this pandemic was extremely terrified of the unknown, just like she is, and worked their ass off to overcome that, right? And in whichever way that was, um, getting back on track, getting back, you know, getting rid of this fear and getting back into the world properly. Um, and uh, this movie's got everything. It's got, like Joe said, it's got family, it's got friends, it's got a love story, and it's some of the stuff, I, I honestly wish that it came with the bloopers because we just had such a great time filming this. And we felt we filmed it at the height of the unknown. And so you're seeing everything happen in real time. There's something special than recreating this later. We shot this at the height of it when everybody didn't know what we were going to do with our lives. And here we all are out the other side. But it's really nice to go back and see the authenticity of that. So and it's through it's through art. So I'm excited for everybody to see it. Yes. Fear dot movie. Fear dot movie. Go to fear dot movie. Get your tickets now. Yes. Let's go. Let's face the fear, y'all, on January 27th. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Joe. Everybody, check out fear when it drops, y'all. Your boy Kuyp, nerds rule the world.